right to this point, we spoke about table and column permissions and the where clauses uh, can be used with these permissions, but there are some others. You can see them here on the right side, program functions down to SQL methods. These are the other entitlements you can assign to permission groups. Unfortunately, these entitlements are often not respected enough in a way of that nobody takes care of them because they don't control to view or to edit some of the objects. But they are powerful. The reason for is that they control things like what you can do with an object or, for example, what you can see in front end or which type of API method could be used or not. Last but not least, and this is the program function part, they control, I like to say, a little bit dangerous parts of the identity manager, for example, like the feature to delete processes out of the job queue info, which is from my perspective, my perspective, something normally not an admin should be able to do. And because of that, the next seconds will tell you how to assign or remove these entitlements to permission groups. Let's start with dialog parts. We are in the manager and here in the manager, you can see on the left hand side, the navigation, there is an employee button, for example. And if I step up, then there is a node for employees and you can sort your employees per name. And all of these nodes are something you can have permissions for. That means you can assign these dialog items to permission groups. And uh, this is one of the things. Another part, which is the same thing, but it looks different, are, for example, here on the right hand side, these graphical controls, we say statistics. And these statistics get displayed with the help of uh, display items like the filters on the left hand side. And all of them gets controlled in designer. And if I step into designer, then I can directly step for that into the user interface section. There I find different items. First of all, the statistic definitions. The statistic definitions allow me to define these statistics, but not to display them. Therefore, I have to look into the menu definition of the front ends. Therefore, I open user interface navigation. I, check, I take, for example, the manager interface. That was what we saw. I step into that and now I see a lot of items there. For example, my employee menu, that was that what we saw before in the manager. Here is the info system. These are the graphical controls you saw and all of them can be defined here. I, what I do there is I just uh, take one of these statistic informations and then I tell the system which graphical control should display the value. But the important thing for that type of session here is to say every of these nodes that is defined here and represents something in the front end that can be assigned to these permission groups. You can see that here. And these permission groups must be something you get assigned before you can use them. So that means, in other words, if I, for example, don't be allowed to see this overview attestation thing here, then there must be somewhere here in designer an according node and this according node it's not assigned to a permission group i own and uh, if that happens then i will not see that object the same for filters and all of these things uh, in the manager on the left hand navigation side we are talking about another entitlement could be assigned to permission groups are forms and a typical form, it's, for example, a report. You can see that here on the screen. It's the manager. I selected a person and was just generating the report overview with business rules and user accounts. You can see it on the right side. It's not that interesting this time what it's in the report. It's more that the report is displayed. And the report is displayed because the report is permitted. That means this report is assigned to a specific person or to a specific dialogue situation so that I'm allowed to see the report. The whole thing happens in designer. If I step into designer, you can see here on the left side, all my forms. And if I scroll a little bit down, there is somewhere reports. Here it is, vi re underscore reports. If I select them, I can see a bunch of reports and I can select one of these, for example, the person master data or some other reports, whatever I like to. But if I select one of these and step then to permission groups, then you can see that every of these objects is here assigned to a particular set of permission groups. And this is the way how you can permit people to see forms or 
reports. Pretty similar to that is if I select a person object in manager, for example, here the task section. Not all of them, but a lot of these tasks are defined somewhere in designer and to see them and to use them is something I have to be permitted for. If I like to configure these permissions, I have to step in designer. And once I'm in designer, I can step to the user interface section. And in the user interface section, there's the task definitions filter and there are the tasks. And if I select one of these tasks, for example, then I can configure them. But what I can as well do is I can assign them to permission groups. Let me show you that. I click on tasks here, I select one of the tasks there, and then I can step to permission groups, and here's the permission group assignment. When I add, I can add all existing tasks here in that list to specific permission groups. Sometimes you need a specific type of SQL just to define subset of data or some other stuff, and these predefined SQL thing, that is stored in designer as well. You can see it here in the base data section. In the base data section, there's a tab for predefined SQL, and here you will find a lot of predefined SQL. Very often you will find that, for example, in the web portal, where a specific subset of data is just joined together and pre-compiled, here it is. And if you do something like that, then it could be a good idea to add this to permissions. And to do that, you select the permission groups from the list like before. A last entitlement type that you can just assign to a permission group is a feature. And these features are program functions in Identity Manager. That means a specific functionality of the tool that could be permitted or not. Let me give you the most famous example that exists in Identity Manager, I think, and this is in Job Queue Info. We are in Job Queue Info. You see a number of processes there, and I want to get rid of a process. For example, I want to delete that one. By pressing Control D, I get that message box that tells me I can delete that now, and with a click of Yes, I can get rid of this complete process. To be honest, this is one of the most worst things you can do in the Identity Manager, especially because if you delete processes, there will be something not happen in target systems, and that is typically not what you mean or what you need. Nevertheless, that feature could be important, for example, in a demo environment to clean up your job queue or in a productive environment, for example, to remove a specific process that could never come through because it was misconfigured or something was going wrong. On the other hand side, because it is that type of dangerous, it is important that people are not using that feature, or let me say it that way, that we have only a very limited number of people who are able to do such administrative tasks. And with that, it makes sense to take this task and to permit to use it. And therefore, exists in designer, in the section of permissions, uh, with the help of the filter program functions, a list of different features. For example, the job queue delete is one of them, here it is. And as you easily can see, even there, it is possible to assign these features here to a specific permission group. There are some others as well. Pretty interesting here is the description that helps you normally to understand what exactly it's meant with the term in the first row. But you can see there are many different things, for example, transporting features, synchronization object features, some common stuff like simulation permissions, whatever, where you can give the chance that people do have the capability to do something or from a principle not. Following the last minutes of the video, what you have seen is how you can select one particular element and assign this element to a permission group, like an entitlement to the permission group. The question now is what happens if there is a permission group and you want to remove some of these entitlements? Is it necessary just to select the right entitlement once you know about it? and to remove the permission group there? Or is there an easier way to do that? And of course, there is an easier way. The way is to configure the entitlement directly on the permission group. To do so, what you can do is the following. You can step in designer, here we are. You can as well select the permission section and the permission groups you want to configure, here we are. And you get here in the middle a list of permission groups. This is the list editor for the permission groups. You select in this specific list the permission group you want to configure. And once that is done, then you can display the entitlements that are assigned to that specific permission groups. 
out of the box, as you can see. There is nothing like that. There is only a grid that shows you the properties of that specific permission group. But if you like to, you can see all the assigned permission groups in an overview, of course, but you can do it here as well. And therefore you have to step to the view menu. And every time if there's a grid and there's a list where you can select things, it could be a good idea to step into view and that is select table relations. And that is what we select here. Here are the table relations. As you can see, there are many of them and all of them are unchecked. There are table relations, for example, to tasks, to program functions, to forms, to menu items, and so on. Just to see all of them, we have just to set checkboxes into all of these different things here. And if I select all of them and add them here to, the, to my element, I get here a huge number of tabs that gets a little bit crowdy from my perspective, but all of them are representing something I can assign or remove from my specific permission group. Please remember, I'm only able to change assignments for my custom groups, yeah, because the out of the box ones are like always right protected. But if I select, for example, here, my user interface and display rights, I can have a look, for example, which tasks are assigned to that specific group, no tasks, or which interface forms and so on. And here I can remove them if I like to. This is typically the way to get rid of some entitlements just assigned to these permission groups. And of course, if I like to, I can as well add some, but then I have exactly to know which of them I want to add.